Okay, so a question has been asked that in ischemic stroke, what are the indication of giving dual antiplatelet therapy instead of single one? So first of all, understand that in ischemic stroke, the antiplatelet therapy is given to prevent the uh, further recurrence of the stroke uh, rather than treating it. So dual antiplatelet uh, therapy are recommended in which we think that there are high chances of recurrence of the stroke to prevent the further stroke. So one indication is if the stroke on NIHS scale is uh, low, less than 5. It's, it's a mild stroke. It should not be given for the um, moderate or severe category because the chances of bleeding. Secondly, if it is a high risk TIA, if the ABCD score is equal to or, or more than for ABCD D square or D2 score is more equal to or more than 4, that means this patient can land up in stroke. So in that, dual antiplatelet therapy is given. Thirdly, if the pathophysiology or etiology of the stroke is atherosclerotic or in origin means there is a plaque rupture like that instead of um, cardioembolic one so like the uh, and you feel there is an intracranial stenosis also so in that condition the uh, dual antiplatelet therapy is given and duration usually it is given for uh, 21 days and then we can switch to single antiplatelet but in case of intracranial stenosis the dual antiplatelet therapy can extend to uh, um, 90 days also in which there is an intracranial stenosis means 70 to 99 percent something like that so i hope this clarifies do read more about it thank you